Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a haul. I have a lot of things to show you guys, so I'm just going to jump right into it. First thing I picked up was the Ariel Treasure Within Beauty book. I got this at Walgreens. It's a Walgreens exclusive. I did a whole look using a lot of the colors from this palette. It's really cute. It comes with a brush. A, a lip gloss, two bronzers, and nine eyeshadow. The pigmentation of this is pretty good. I think it's better than the, the average of products. I'm not super crazy about that. And if you watch the video where I use these, you can tell that. You do get good color payoff. A little note though that some people have been saying it's a dupe and it's far better than the than the Ariel palette that came out from Sephora, which was a really pricey palette. Um, and I do have it here. I don't think this, I don't think the e.l.f. one is any better than this. I know this one had its issues. Some of these eyeshadows are a little chalky, a little bit powdery, but I still think these are better than the elf so I already took them out of their packaging I picked up was the under the eyes waterproof eyeliner and dual eyeshadow set so it's basically they just basically are two little duo sets um they're this one's in high tide and this one's in coral reef and then here's what the eyeliner looks like this is pretty good the pigmentation is pretty good I have it swatched right here the next thing from the same collection is the bronze beauty bronzer and mini kabuki brush kit the packaging of these things are so so cute and this is in surfs up it is a shimmery bronzer so you might want to watch out if you're gonna contour with it I would recommend it but the pigmentation of this is really nice it's kind of like a nice glow to the skin I don't normally wear these kinds of things but I'm definitely gonna give it a try moving on to some lip liners I picked up two lip liners from NYX I was in the need for something nude here please I wanted some nude liners, so I went to Ulta and picked them up. They were buy one, get one, 50% off. So the retractable lip liner is in the color nude. And then this one, the typical liners, are in nude pink. Swatched, they look very similar. But I'm happy to be using both of them. I have nude pink on right now, and so far I'm loving these. Next thing I picked up at Ulta was this cute little lip duo set. It's from Absolute New York, and it comes in bubblegum and strawberry. So these are just basic little lip balms, but I needed them for a future video. So moving on to my nails. My nails are finally starting to grow again. This is the longest they've been in a really long time. I used to have really long I used to have really long nails in high school and then I started having some peeling problems and stuff. But anyway, they're finally growing again. And what I've been using is the Healthy Hoof Intensive Protein Treatment. I'm pretty much almost out. So I decided to pick up a new one. It was only $3.49 and I really love it. I just um, massage it into each of my fingernails, especially focusing on the cuticles and underneath the nail tip. The only thing that's changed is like the it has a much smaller font than originally. Next thing for my nails are these two stripers. These are from the brand Kiss. I love the formula of these. So I picked one up in black and I picked one up in white. I have had these before, but they ran out. This one is one I don't typically buy because I hate the formula of these, but this one's pretty good. It's the ones that come with two applicators. So you get the first one which is like a pointy sound something used for detailing in the nail and then you get the side that or like a traditional striper so i picked this up as well in the color red we're down to the last two items so this is the so fresh so clean makeup remover towelettes i've really been enjoying these i used to see them a lot in urban outfitters i don't know if they still sell them but i got them at tj maxx for much cheaper so i'm happy about them and you get 25 towelettes and they're really good so i'm happy it's been a while since i've had makeup removing white. Okay, so the last thing is a candle, and I'm gonna insert the clip here. This is a Yankee candle, and I got this at TJ Maxx as well, where I normally get my Yankee candles because they're usually really discounted. This one was $12, so yes, it is slightly pricey for the average candle but I love the scent of it it smells like popsicles but it has a warm vanilla scent in there and it's really uh, they have a mango one that I really want to try great and I love it and it's gonna be burning in my desk be burning on my desk I'm gonna light it up and it'll be on my desk <coughs> sounds weird so anyway thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and I will see you guys next time don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and yeah, bye guys. Hey everybody, so today I'm gonna to be doing a three minute review of the L'Oreal Black Buster Liquid Eyeliner. Um, this is supposed to have eight hour 